Hello everybody and welcome to this week's Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom. And this week brings us to the end of our series on foot charts because we come right up to the present day. Uh, we are at 2021 and we're going to be looking at this fabulous book. It's called The Poddy Charts and this isn't just a chart. We've now got that much development into our knowledge of reflexology, where the reflexes are, that Sue Evans and Annie Trigg literally couldn't fit everything onto a chart. So what did they do? Created a whole book. And we have got all of the reflex locations, um, all the rationale, for every single different system itemized um, into chapters in this book. So let's have a, a little look at it now. So here we have uh, the body chart book. Um, and I'm just wanting to actually start before we even get to the charts themselves. There's an endorsement page. We have Lynn Booth. Um, who writes, once in a while in the world of reflexology, a new concept or idea comes along, has the capacity to make a major impact on how a professional reflexologist view their work. And then she goes on to say that she highly commends Sue and Anne for their inspired lateral thinking, their in-depth research and imaginative presentation. We've got Dorta and uh, Dorta Krosgarg and Peter Lundfrentzen, who also... Um, comment about, and I quote, uh, their relentless attention to anatomical detail and artistic drawings in the body charts fill a void in reflexology literature. And then an endorsement I thought I would never see. We have an endorsement, and it starts as a general physician who has had reflexology treatments, I was interested to see the way in which the anatomy of the body is reflected onto the feet. And then he goes on to talk about how impressed he is with this book. And this is Dr. Wolfgang Piller. He is a GP. I mean, amazing. We are really um, moving on in the world of health, not just in the world of reflexology here. Now, you may know that with uh, some of the charts, I have commented on the similarities. Uh, there are no similarities with this chart whatsoever. Um, the reason being is because this chart, uh, I say chart, this book, has been created from a completely different start point. It has been created from x-rays, actual x-rays of the feet. And I know... Uh, that these are x-rays and not artistic drawings, because I actually know the owner of the bones of these feet. Yes, you heard that right. Uh, he is still alive. That's very, very good news. Um, but uh, the owner of this uh, x-ray is a guy called Paul Stewart. He's actually a very good friend of mine. And so I know this to be 100% accurate because you don't get more accurate than an x-ray. Each section that we have in this book, let's just look at the skeletal system for an example, follows the same format. So you have a picture of the skeletal system here, superimposed onto the feet. And then if we were to turn the page, we then have the skin taken away, we're down to the skeletal foot of Paul just here, and we have the skeletal system, plantar, dorsal, medial, lateral, and anterior. And so that you can see where everything is from every single angle that there is. Now, Interestingly, I'm going to come on to 
an old favourite of mine, which is the arms and the leg, being as we're on the skeletal system. And I'm really, really pleased to see that we actually do have arms and legs as far as uh, Sue's and Annie's charts are concerned, because we have got, can we see here, I think I'll just zoom in actually, so that we can see very clearly where these are. We have got the shoulder. This is where everybody agrees where the shoulder reflex is, so that's good. We've got the hip reflex. Now this is interesting, some people don't locate the actual uh, articulation of the hip just here, but I can totally understand why Sue and Annie do, because this is the articulation of the ankle. So where you have got uh, an articulating joint, you need to have an articulating reflex. But the interesting thing is here that they don't bring the leg up so that we have a common elbow and knee reflex. They take the leg going up the leg so that we have a knee point, I suppose, about a third of the way, quarter of the way up the leg, and then the foot coming back down. So what we have here is we have our client in a kneeling position. Can you see how that works? This also does mean that they have a hand reflex on the dorsal aspect of the foot, and we have a foot reflex at the back of the heel. And let's just show that a little bit clearer, as we can see that here, so that we have our foot reflex down the back of the heel, just here. I love the detail that we have in the muscular system just here. I mean, just look at this, we've got all the fibers of the body, we've got the different depths of the muscle, uh, we have our biceps, our triceps, we have got the gastrocnemius, we've got the um, all of the muscles absolutely beautifully drawn over the bones of the foot. And again, this is what I really, really do love um, with these charts, is that you can accurately locate just where the reflex should be, because the bones don't move. Different people have got different shapes and sizes of foot, and of course that means that uh, the parts of the body will be positioned slightly differently. But if you can find the bones, if you can feel where they are, then you know exactly where you are as far as locating the reflexes. And so for that, I really, really love this. And here we go. So we have a nervous system chart. Superb detail, absolutely superb. I'm going to just zoom in onto the dorsal aspect just here. So it kind of gives you a little bit of an idea where we go. We've got the cerebrum, the cerebellum, we've got a brain stem. Uh, we've then got our amygdala, the thalamus, the hypothalamus, the pituitary. And then, of course, uh, showing it, um, obviously, from a lateral, because to, to get into here, it'd be rather, rather difficult, but you can see how this works. The cervical nerves, the thoracic nerves, the lumbar nerves, the sacral nerves, and then the coccygeal nerves. Absolutely brilliant. I love the clarity. I love the design. Um, it's just great. And then just staying with the second page where we took the skin away, and we've just got the outline of the foot, we've then got the x-ray of the bone, we can just see how clearly, how intricately the nervous system is designed onto the foot. Now I'm not going to show every page because of course then you wouldn't need to buy the book, um, but I am just going to show you, this is from the senses, and you can see here again how we have got such detail, such detail. So you can see here we've got the mouth, we've got the nose, we've got the eyes. Um, just so, so good. And it's clear from this um, that we have got our client facing this way. The front of the body from the shape of the face. So we've got our client facing, um, as it were, if the foot is um, 
upwards and you're looking at your own foot, technically you are looking back at you. That's the way it works. But again, it's because this is it. This is the clarity that I absolutely love. Now, this is the last page that I'm going to show you, only because, um, again, as I said, this is so that we don't show you everything. I believe that um, Sue and Annie deserve the income that they're going to be getting from this book. Um, so I don't want to spo do a spoiler, so to speak, and uh, uh, make it so that it's not needed to be bought. But again, you can see here the clarity of the digestive system. You can see where everything is. Everything absolutely makes sense. It's fabulous. So I hope that you too will enjoy the clarity of this fabulous book. Just as a caveat, um, I do personally know Sue and Annie who created this book. Um, I am not giving a biased opinion of the book whatsoever. If there were shortcomings in it, Sue and Annie know, I would say. Um, but what I do say about this is you won't get more detail anywhere else. Um, that's what I absolutely love about this book. So this brings to a close this series in Reflexology Foot Charts. Hang on a second, I can hear you say. David, you've got your own foot chart. Finger free foot chart. Yes, I have. Um, but in but for bias, I didn't want to review my own foot chart. So, for those of you who are watching this channel, if you would like a free copy of this foot chart, this very foot chart, I will post it to you. Um, and if you would do a review on video, and then send that video to me, that will become one of the Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdoms. Preferably, I would like it to be somebody that doesn't know me, because I don't want any bias at all. I want this to be absolutely um, as honest as it can possibly be. So there's a challenge. Send your name, address, again, preferably somebody in the UK, just purely for postal costs, please. That would be, um, that would be wonderful. And then send your video in. So when we see you next, you'll be watching the Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom panel. We have got Moshe Krutchik, we have got Vanessa Santos, we have got Catriona Plunkett, and we have got the fabulous Chris Stormer. We're all going to be meeting up with some other wonderful reflexologists. We're going to be videoing that, and you will get to see that next Wednesday. So until then, stay well, stay safe.